Mazda 2. It's fit. Sasson. Lock and load. Jet Lee. Jason Statham. A full throttle action thriller. War on DVD Monday. Well, Michael Jennings told in no uncertain terms that he is allowing himself to be forced into fighting Ross Minter's sort of fight. So it's just as you said, Duke, psychological advantage to Minter in that second round after Jennings really bossed the first, almost had his man down, but Minter has now got back into it and is fighting his strategy. Well, Minter has to keep his head and his chin buried deep into his chest to avoid any kind of infringement, any kind of head uh, clashes or anything like that. Nice little two-fisted attack by Minter. He's fighting like a man possessed. He wanted to prove himself the power puncher in this contest. He's not a notable knockout artist, only eight stoppage victories in his 17 wins. The ratio is pretty much the same as Jennings, he's got 14 out of 31, but Minter believes that he's the harder puncher and maybe that's a factor. But Jennings now, as you can see, is trying to respond to the advice of his corner, to get up on his toes, to get back on his bike and use that jab, use his movement, box. Well, if, if Jennings keeps putting distance between him and Minter, like he's boxing in and then he gets on the back foot and boxes from the outside, he wins the fight or he wins the rounds. A lot of interest in this bill tonight. I saw John Conti, one of British boxing's greats, not too many years ago. He's at ringside. Kevin Mitchell, Jamie Moore, Matthew Macklin, good fighters, all of them. And all enjoying this one, which in boxing terms is such a good trade fight. It's a fantastic matchup. The only thing that worries me about Minter's pace at this point is that he's putting so much in. The longer the fight goes, you know, we know that Jennings can keep up this pace, maintain it and even go quicker than what he's doing is now. Not too many fitter fighters around than Michael Jennings. And he's settled back down now into fighting his fight. Absolutely. Which is exactly what they said do. Absolutely. Oh, good shot though from Minter. Crowding his man, little clubbing right hand. The chance go up for Minter. Penny for the thoughts of Father Allen as he hears those shouts. Well, Minter not doing a great job in cutting the ring off. He's following Jennings around. He needs to step to his right and try the right hand. Then come back with his combinations. Because he's following him around the same way. Jennings for me came of age in... 2005 when he destroyed Jimmy Vincent to win. Oh, good shot from, from Minter, right uppercut. Jennings took it well. I will say Jennings came of age when he beat Vincent for me. And has fought at a very high level since then. But Minter finishing the, finishing the round strongly. No Twingo. Serious fun. From £7,500. Ten seconds. Seconds out. Alan Minter, watching at ringside, knows now that his son Ross Minter is cut. He was caught by a clash of heads and he was badly cut as well. Up around the hairline. But they've put a smear of grease over it and they've staunched the flow and because it's so far away from the eye it's not the sort of cut which is going to potentially stop the fight but it's an encumbrance it's a hindrance and it's something that he's now got to live with and it's something that jennings will see and he'll know that that is going to work away to his favor 
Uh, Mintz is still looking for that one shot, still looking for that, that knockout punch to turn this fight around. Now in the fourth round, Duke McKenzie scoring it at the moment to Michael Jennings. By the, two rounds to one. The better boxing, the snappier punches. Lovely right hand by Mintz and Andy there on Jennings. Stopped him in his tracks. Absolutely. Mintz has got his feet firmly planted on the floor, looking for haymakers almost. The clash of styles always promised to be intriguing. And so it's showing. That was more of a slip than any real power shot from Minter there. The boss written across those red shorts. The right hand is his danger shot. Came so close to stopping Freddie Curiel in his last fight in that fourth round. And on that occasion, he was caught badly in the fifth, I think it was, with a shot to the body which did the ribs. And from then on, it was always going the Americans' way. This time, he probably knows with some degree of certainty that the fight is going to have to go to the latter stages because Jennings will be content to stay out of harm's way and try and box him with little combinations, get in and out all night if he possibly can. Jennings still looking to step to the right to come back with the right hand. That's the punch that he had to success with in the early rounds. And he's looking to adopt the same thing again. Minton needs to stop waiting, he's just waiting a little bit too long on him now. His pace is starting to drop and Jennings is just starting to get through just a little bit freer. Jennings landed with a good left uppercut 20 or 30 seconds ago. And Minter, as you say, looking as though he's feeling the pace now in the fall. No surprise because it's been fast, furious, frenetic. Oh, great shot! Almost decked Minter. Great right hand and it was the first shot that did it. A terrific quality right hand and Minter knows it, acknowledged it, says to his corner, I'm all right, but is he? The bell has gone. The bell has gone and it didn't come a moment too soon. Big round for Jennings. And let's hear what they're saying in that corner. Come out of the roll, put your hands down. Yeah. 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 There's Alan Minter, got to be worried at the way this fight is unfolding, and there's that right hand. Well, the pace dropped significantly in that round, and Jennings was allowed time to plant the right hand superbly on Minter's jaw. He'd been looking for the right hand, he stepped across earlier in the round, looked for the shot, it wasn't there. Looked for it again and it was there and took it magnificently. Into the fifth round. Twelve round fight. And Michael Jennings will have won that round with a 10-8 margin and is now in control. Minter has a mountain to climb. Is he able to do it? Jennings looks brimful of confidence now, and no wonder. That right hand he caught him with in the last round, an absolute peach. I don't think Minter's recovered from the knockdown. Uh, I think the inactivity is hurting him quite badly. He looks very pedestrian, just plodding forward now. Not quite sure how he's going to get himself back into the fight. Well, they told him that he's got to throw punches in bunches, but it's easier said than done. When your senses have been scrambled by a really clean right hand, like that one which Michael Jennings threw in the closing stages of the fourth. Well, Mickey Van saying stop boxing, and he's going to have a word with Michael Jennings. And and also Ross Minter, who's now cut around his left ear. There's blood flowing from his left ear, and I don't think the referee spotted that yet, and that one does not look good. It's a, t it's a nightmare for Minter. Your heart has to go out to him. Try as he may, he cannot get to grips with this little buzzsaw of a fighter in Jennings. Jennings just seems to have the answer to everything right now. Well, Minter's corner have spotted it.
and there is blood flowing from the left ear. They're going to have to go to work on that.